Hi, it's John here from Hex Crypto, and today I'm going to be unboxing my new Helium miner, and then we're going to be adding it onto the Helium network. So here's my miner, which arrived yesterday. This is a Helltech one, but this is basically a setup for any Helium miner. It'll be the same steps pretty much, but you'll obviously have a, a different looking miner potentially. So in the box, we've got some instructions here on what to do when you've uh, unboxed and set up your miner. We've got some LED descriptions here, which is going to be quite useful so we can see when it's synchronizing with the blockchain and when it's complete. So that's going to be quite handy. But here's the miner itself. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting it, I must admit. But certainly a lot heavier too. And we have a three pin with a two pin European plug here. So I will need an adapter for my UK sockets. We have the three and a half DBI antenna. So yours may come with a larger or a smaller antenna and the power supply itself, which is a maximum output of 36 watts. So I've put some time codes in the description if you want to skip to any particular part of this video. I'll just have a quick overview of this first and then we'll go through the setup. But if you do enjoy this video, please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel. We've just hit over a thousand subscribers. So that's really nice. And uh, hopefully we can get uh, another few hundred or so before the end of December. But anyway, this is my Helltech Automation Hotspot. And we can see here on the front, we have the LED status lights. We've got the power button. We have a Kensington lock here on the side if you want to keep it locked up somewhere. So for those of you who actually uh, do off-grid installations, that could be quite handy. On the back, we have the power. We have the ethernet. We've got a USB-C connection. We've got a reset button and we've got the LoRa antenna connector. Now this is an RP SMA female. So as we can see here. So on the bottom we've got the wireless Mac and wired Mac addresses under my thumb here. But we've also got some different information on the hotspot itself. And that's it really. This one has got a fan built into it. So not sure whether putting a sticker here is the right thing to do, but there's plenty of airflow as you can see. We can see right through the uh, back of the uh, case here. So it's a rather measly antenna for this hotspot by the look of it at least, but uh, three and a half DBI isn't too bad. We've even got a little uh, sticky bit at the bottom here to stick it somewhere. Let's just screw this on. So I have got a four DBI external antenna, which I'm having set up on Monday. So I'm going to create another video with all that setup as well. So do be sure to subscribe if you want to see that setup once it's all up and running. Now I understand you're always meant to connect your aerial when the power to the unit is off. Which makes perfect sense to me. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on my windowsill. I may have to move the miner slightly to do that, but I will jump back to when that's all set up and we'll go from there. Okay, I see why they've included that sticky uh, pad on the aerial because it's extremely flimsy and falling all over the place. But uh, so we've plugged in the antenna, we've put in the network cable here and we're now going to download the Helium app to say to turn on the device first. So let's turn it on. Okay, we can see the light coming on here and obviously your miner may have different LEDs or maybe even no LEDs or fewer, but we can see that's the system light turning on. Got number three flashing the blockchain synchronization. So orange blinking means the blockchain is synchronizing. So I imagine it could stay like that for a short while. So I'm download the Helium Hotspot app. And we'll just open that up here. So we're gonna create an account as I don't already have one. So let's set one up. Okay, so creating an account. Helium accounts are protected by 12 unique words that act as a password for signing in or recovering accounts. So we're gonna create our words. I'm gonna do this off screen obviously because uh, I don't want anyone to get my words. Okay, so I've written down my 12 words and we're now gonna to click to add hotspot. So these are all the different hotspots. Now obviously select the correct one according to your one that you've purchased. I'll just go down the list so we can see what is available currently. Now mine's the Helltech one, so I'm gonna find that in the list. Helltech indoor hotspot. So it's just gonna go through some tips basically, give it a good view, so I've stuck mine or my aerial at least in the window. Don't hide them. I'm building my block signals, we know that. And we don't really have bug screens here in the UK, so that's fine, I've read the guide. 
So diagnostic support allows Helltech automation to identify issues with your hotspot in a secure way. Helltech will never have access to private keys, blah, 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 I understand. Attach the antenna and plug in the Profiner power adapter. Once powered on, the Helltech indoor hotspot will light up several indicators one after another. Startup takes about 30 seconds. Then when the yellow indicator is on or blinking, the system is completely ready to work. So I wouldn't say that's yellow, I'd say that's orange, but I'll just say that I've powered up. Bluetooth is automatically enabled for five minutes when the Helltech hotspot is ready. So we're just going to click scan for my hotspot. Just say here when the blue indicator on the power button blinks that the Bluetooth is ready to pair. It is blinking here as we can see, so let's scan. We're going to allow the location permission. And we'll just see if it finds it in the nearby Bluetooth devices. Okay, so it has actually stopped and we may have timed out from the five minute to scan. So we may just need to power this off and back on again. Okay, so because we got timed out, I'm just gonna press this once to restart the miner. And then once it starts flashing again, we're gonna do another scan on our Bluetooth. Okay, so we're now flashing again on the power button, so we know that that means Bluetooth is activated. So we're gonna just scan again. Still not finding any uh, hotspots yet. We'll keep scanning. Okay, I'm just gonna try another phone because I couldn't get my Fold 3 to work, so let's give this a try. Okay, so something weird with my Fold 3, so we'll just put that to the side. And we'll set up here on my S21. So it's found it here, as you can see, Helltech Indoor Hotspot. Okay, we've got an error message there. Let's scan again. Okay, we finally got it um, sorted. So I'm gonna tell it to use ethernet instead. I don't want to use Wi-Fi. And now we're going to set the hotspot location. So we can pinpoint the exact location it's going to be, which is pretty pretty accurate to be honest where it's found us. So I'm going to pop it on here. Now it's asking us to set up our antenna. Now I am currently using the 3.5 dBi one that's connected, but I'm going to actually set it to 4 dBi because that's what my external one is. I'm going to do custom antenna, set this to 4, and the height, this is going to be 8 meters high when it finally gets outside. I'm pretty high in this uh, location as it is, but uh, I'm going to set it all correctly at the moment because uh, in a couple of days it will be absolutely correct. So 4 dBi, height of 8 meters. So we can see that our location fee has already been paid, so that's really nice, so that saves us $10. So it's just going to ask us to confirm the details. I'm going to click register hotspot. So it says it can take a few minutes to register. Okay, we're back and it's a new day here because basically Helltech ran out of credits to onboard their hotspot. So I'm just going to try it again now. Okay, well it's been about 10 minutes now and it's still trying to register. So we're just going to go to wallet and just see if anything else pops up here. So we haven't had any new messages saying that there's a problem registering. So I guess the question is we don't really, there's no feedback as to whether this is actually uh, still trying or not. So those are our failed ones from yesterday. And again, it doesn't look like it's sort of saved the information we put in, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come out of the app completely. And we're just gonna try another time. Ah, okay. Well, we've come out of the app completely and gone back in and it has now actually found it, which is good. So that means we are registered on the network. So let me just check on my Fold 3 here. So yeah, we can see that the onboard remaining has gone down. So it's gone down by five actually. So a few other people have also spotted that Helltech have added some details or currency to their account and it's now working. So that's great. So we're now actually finally registered Right, so through the magic of video editing, it's actually another new day here and the hotspot is now up in the attic with the antenna outside. So it's all looking good so far. I'll just go in and have a look. Now it did take a long time for the app to update with the hex location here. And I believe that's just normal. It just takes a while to filter through. So if you don't see your hex appear straight away or it looks like it might be in the wrong place, just give it a while to actually update and you should actually be fine. So we can see here, how mine's been doing. It's been doing quite well actually so far. Well, I think it's doing quite well. So we've had, what, 0.45 HNT rewards in the last 
day and a bit, I guess. So I'm quite happy with that. So that's uh, that's quite nice. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Like I said, your hotspot may be slightly different, but the process is exactly the same. If you do have problems like I did with Bluetooth, not finding the hotspot itself, try a different phone like I did. If I hadn't got my S21 here, I might still be trying to get it working on my Fold 3. So yeah, try another phone if you have problems. So if you have trouble registering like I did, as you can see here, it was failed to assert the location and to add the hotspot. That's because Helltech and all their glory didn't have enough credits for me to actually do that. So they did add some on overnight. I think someone reported the issue. But yeah, if you do have issues adding it in, then you may actually need to contact your manufacturer to find out if they've got enough credit. Most of the big ones I imagine are probably wouldn't have that problem, but it is worth checking nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click on the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got a video coming up showing you my external antenna setup and how I've done it. Basically, I believe a lot of people on YouTube have actually set their antenna up incorrectly with their lightning arrestor, but I will go into that into more detail in that video. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and you'll be notified when that comes out. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.